Well, <clears throat> the real problem is when your rock is surrounded by like 5,000 freaked out, even maybe Sunni warriors, um, and they starve you out. You know, even if you got a little bit of water to back you up, growing crops of food on the top of rocks. <laughs> well, um, stalemates fester. Mm -hmm. Nothing's moving. You got the freaked out invaders at the base. You got the party animals on the top, but they're getting hungrier all the time. So this scenario can endure, actually, for just a few months. And then something's got to give. Uh, you know, this humiliate you from my rock and all that. Like, uh, finally, a grudging and uh, grotesque face-saving diplomacy. It's got to kick in at some point. Uh, and you know what? The Huffy Persians, the Persians are like, like <laughs> Darius the Conqueror. <laughs> you know, they, they got barrel chests like those Sherpas way up in <laughs> the Himalayas. Big chest. You know, the Huffy. And they got, they got machismo dripping off the corners of their mouths. Okay. They're not very good at that. You know? Face-saving diplomacy? What? I mean, I don't need to save my face. <laughs> I got what I got, and <laughs> you kind of get stuck there a little bit. Ego trips. On. Oh, did I say ego trips? get compromised <laughs> I mean just like say you're a kid and you're up at the Caspian Sea you're up at Karamabad Rasht, Gorgon, Bulbar a little Hassani on the beach you made a castle and then what the capricious Caspian Sea whips up some waves and <sniffs> ah <sighs> yeah that's what happens to these rock fortresses these fantasies of empire building get washed away until Ashishan takes control. Hmm. We need more on Hashishan. Can you GPS a bio on Hashishan Ibsaba? A little more. He's a na na native-born Gosvenite. He's been eating seedless grapes since his mom could try to keep him happy. I mean, she was like the mother, mother, mother. She couldn't, couldn't stop mothering him. He's a megalomaniac. It's what, what, what she did to her kid, huh? Yeah, you know, have you heard about it? Yeah, your kid's like real groovy, self-esteem. He's not all that smart, but you kind of pump him up so that he can be a what? UPS driver? Uber driver? Hmm. Yeah, to get his attention, you know, open your mouth, little Hatsisani. She called him Hashishan Ibsaba. Mm-hmm. Ashik Jabul Al Akbar, <laughs> the bedwetter. Mm -hmm. Well, the thing is, Hashishan is a double Taurus. Astrology freaks, Taurus means like ox. 
they like ruts. They like oxen tracks. They like to do the same thing over and over. So you marry your arity is their best friend. Duh. Makes them pretty boring to hang out with. And they talk too much. But the good thing about Taurus, they're, they, they'll be your best friend. They'll look all, overlook all your shit, you know. And keep being your friend no matter how many times you blow it. So let's give it up for faithful, boring as hell, Taurinians. This all started at the Taurus Mountains on the Turkish Riviera. Do you remember that? Anybody remember? Can remember like from 10 minutes ago? You don't have to remember. This is just for fun. So just... <sighs> yeah. Um, so his parents bankrolled him. They, they were rich. They were like the aristocracy. They only seedless grapes. They're called sultanas. Did you hear about sultanas? You did? You remember? <laughs> um, because Hashishan's parents... They stumbled upon a connection for Brismati's rice from Assam. That's a long way away. And they had their own route. They would go up and over the Korakam Pass to Bashkent and Tashkent. Bukhara? Up and over the northern part of the Caspian Sea. They dropped down to Rasht, Tabriz. Buzzer gone, Tabriz rushed into Karamabad <laughs> to the four muleteers of Caspian rights, but you'll be hearing about really shortly. They made so much money. Huh? They're the kid. They're the spoiled only child. Haji Shana, he likes school. Okay. They bankroll him for 20 years. Just stay in school. It's fun. You're used to it. Mm hmm. <laughs> He's 40 years old now, and he's still studying medieval fortifications. And a good thing he didn't, you know, he didn't skip that class on protracted siege, where the real problems come in. You got your water, you got your battlemented <laughs> walls, your stone towers, observation towers on top of the battlemented <laughs> walls. So one person can fit in comfortably, but you jam two guys in there. They like it. Two guys jamming in this tight little space. Why? They have thick earlobes and they're from God's men. It's just, it's just. Mm. Meet you at the stone observation tower. Hasan Uh well, who was who was Hashishan's friend, devoted friend? Oh yeah, of course, uh, uh, Omar Khayyam. Yeah, he was renowned and right up to the day for Rubiat uh, 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 ish style ish Rubiati poetry, and Hashishan, handsome. Sexy. Whew. Wallowed in casual sex with his students. I'm talking like he's way ahead of his time on that, you know? Uh -huh. Especially his honor students. Got to keep their grades up somehow. When you come in for your scholastic interview, bring a pair of scissors with you, you know. It's quicker cutting through the veil that way. <clears throat> well, you know, Omar, he's worried about Hashishan. That's like his best friend. He's in this rut. He's mastered uh, theologies from around the world. He's had so much time to study. Yeah. know indulge that spiritual streak in him, which would give him so much power. But 
on the dark side? Maybe a little bit. Uh, look, he said the Haji Shant, look, Fortress had, you know, religion freak, get a life. You need to be, I'm going to blast you. I got some, the good stuff from Mazari Sharif in Pakistan. This is like thick, slabby, black, Afghani, sticky hashish. I'm going to put it in the hubble bubble. And I know you haven't ever smoked before because your parents, no, little hashish and I do not do that. Okay. And just suck on it. Suck on the nibble of the hookah slinky, dude. Well, Hashishan appreciates the attention. You know what? Even Taurus gets sick of their own shit after a while. He's thinking like, yeah. How about a new chapter in my life? He sucks on it too, boy. And then he's like, uh, Omar. Thank you. Not Elmer hits him with a second pipe. I won't now. They just go. Suck some more, dude. <laughs> it blows his mind wide open and makes him realize that he was born to be transcendental and Transgender. <laughs> We're talking freedom <laughs> in a conservative Islamic society. Right. Well, uh, that blast, huh? <laughs> that was a blast of a lifetime. The weird mind of Hashishan uh, blows wide open. And if you get a Taurus to blow his mind, you're going to need a broom and a dustpan to sweep up your place after. Um... He makes up for lost time, Hashishan. You know, 20 years at the school. Yes, Mom. Yes, Dad. Um, yeah. He abandons his parents and the university of God's in itself. And even like Goes and sees his local camel dealership and galumph galumph, he's out of God's in itself. Jesus. Um, and he becomes a tribal leader. He realizes he has leadership, budding potential. Oh, Jesus. And uh, a bunch of the, um, the alchemists in the alchemy department. They're the chemists that cook up the fun shit. Chemists, young, impressionable young men, a generation younger, and they got this Hashishan guy headed into the desert for where? Who cares? We're out of here too. The call to prayer five times a day, it's getting on their nerves. You know, let's transcend. You know. All the gobbledygook of our parents and follow the old man. Mm -hmm. To where? Where? On a serpentine? Hey, look at that snake. It got bit on the tail. It's called wiggly, 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 wiggly. And it's not a rope. It's a snake. It's a real snake. It's not a rope. It's not a bungee cord. It's a snake. He slithers his way like a snake who got bit on its own tail. There's a karma there, huh? Well, they got to go to Persepolis to load up on frankincense. They sniff frankincense. Mm -hmm. Best thing since Mandrake Grotto. Oh, no. Um... Yeah, from Persepolis, Galump, Galump. We're talking camels, caravansaris. A caravansari of freaks, dropout freaks. Impressionable young men they are. Mm -hmm. uh, all the way down, kind of tucked down in southwest Persia, called the Khorasan Mountains. 
uh, and it's a beautiful butte. A butte of beauty? A butterful butte? Rising out of the great sound desert. Okay, now listen up. We're going to bring the story right up to date. You know, like dabbing hashish oil is like the, the groovy in thing right now. You know, dab or die kind of thing. These chemists from Gazi invented in Khorasan on the little castle they rented on the Butte the first hashish oil extracting apparatus. You got a warehouse of weed, you want hash oil, they figured it out. And they boiled up a big double barrel of hash oil? I mean, what could go wrong with that? 